Hello everyone, my name is Decorlink the Trained and Professional, and this is our microwave. It's loud. Get used to it for the next few minutes. Welcome back to Repeat, everybody. We're doing the do, so let's just get on with it. Uh, we're going to talk ourselves to a Morse, who is the undercover crime whatever. So we're going to talk to Morse, undercover crime person, informant. Snitch! Breath mint. Took you long enough. Is everybody here? I blinked in surprise. The voice sounded it like it was put through a thick robotic filter to disguise its owner. <laughs> Owen Lorley! <laughs> I want a cheese pizza, please. <laughs> Owen Lorley. Jenny Colise. Philip Tan. Oh, and that other kid. John, or whatever. Wow, that really boosts my self-esteem. I don't really care about you, kid. Especially after how you snooped around that house last night, sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. How'd you know about that? I have eyes everywhere. It's my job to know. Come on, Moore, stop giving people a hard time and just answer our questions already. I could practically hear him roll his eyes from behind the speaker. There was a sound of rustling paper as though Morse was rummaging through some files. Ahem. Uh -huh. So I guess I should introduce myself first. The name is Morse. I buy and sell secrets from big people for a living. The only reason I'm helping you shrimps is because I owe the black cat a few favors. A few? Ahem. Anyway. Uh, you want to know why the Lorelei family is suddenly interested in killing Owen Lorley? Lorley, 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 Hot Mama, Mama, Back for Beef and Broccoli, Hot Mama, Mama. I grumbled under my breath. This guy sounded so damn cocky. We kind of already have a good idea. Samuel mentioned that they're probably after the Adlai fortune that Owen inherited from his mom. If he dies, his fortune will probably be taken by his father and the Lorelei family. Morse suddenly claps his hands around a fa in a fake applause. Oh, you're so smart! Wowee, the kids figured it out. Looks like you don't need me here anymore. But wait, don't hang up! There's more to this, isn't there? Morse scoffed. Obviously. This can't be about my family fortune. I have a will written out and everything. Owen was cut off by the sound of rustling paper again. Oh, look, I have a copy of your will right here. It states that in the event of Owen Lorelei's passing, all his assets will be donated across 50 institutions and charities throughout the city. Ugh, your mother told you to write this, didn't she? That hag? Holy shit, you do not insult M M Mrs. Lorelei. Her. The fuck her name was. I don't remember. Wasn't it Heather or something? I don't fucking know. Well, it's the right move. Hey, Heather, I remember. Heather, Lord, Heather Adlai is a snake. Hey, honey, you're still too young to understand, but make sure to clean up after yourself in case you get your ass murdered. Jenny cleared her throat impatiently. Wait, this means Oren's fortune can't be the who couldn't be the motive. The Adlai family fortune is financially locked, even if Oren dies. Of course. If the Adlai fortune ended up empowering the Lorelais, Heather Adlai would be rolling in her grave. The moment Owen dies, the Adlai fortune becomes untouchable by the Lorelai family. So this means they want Owen dead, but not for the purpose of taking his fortune. Yes, thank you, Captain Obvious. Have you figured out what that motive is yet? I have a hunch. I'll tell you kids when I have evidence to back it up. Now, if you'll all stop playing detective and get on with your lives, that'll be great. <sighs> You're just salty because you don't have all the information yet. Yet is the key word. Now on to the next order of business. Owen, get the hell out of the room. I need to talk to the other three in private. Well, what? Why? This is my life on the line here. Shoo! Leave! Out! I'm not talking until you're gone. Owen grumbled under his breath in annoyance. Fine, I'll hit the gym for now, I guess. I'll see you guys later. Uh... 
The room was silent as Owen reluctantly left and shut the door behind him. Is he gone? Great, let's get to the important stuff. The Lorelei family is probably going to try to make a move at, uh, at Owen tonight. What? Why tonight? It's visitor's day. Giant crowds of adults are moving around campus all day. It's the perfect time to strike. You can't seriously tell me you didn't see this coming. Yeah, when there's the, as many fucking witnesses as possible. The fuck? I got word that Owen's old man is coming to Grain here. Good ol' Orly, Orly and Lorelei. Orly and Lorelei. Orly and Orly and Orly and Lorelei. Hey, hey, hey. He'll probably try to make contact with Owen. I don't like this. It sounds fishy. Exactly. So here's what I need all you all to do. Um, what was that kid's name again? The unimportant one. Oh, it's John. Hey! John, since you're so chummy with Owen, I need you to stay with him and try to keep him away from his father if possible. Make sure Owen stays in secure campus buildings and avoid any dangerous places. You don't want Owen to know his father is coming? God, no. Owen will probably get all sentimental and attached. It'll be a mess. It's best that we try to keep them from making contact at all, if possible. Owen's planning to meet up with Samuel tonight, right? Make sure they stick to each other like glue. He'll be safer with the big oaf around him. Makes sense. I'll try my best. And now for Philip and Ginny. As far as I know, Oli and Lorelei is pretty spineless and probably won't try anything dangerous. I'm not taking any chances, though. That's why I need you two to somehow take everything off of uh, off his person. Everything off his person? He could be hiding weapons or something dangerous up to up his sleeve. You guys want to be want to make sure Owen stays safe, don't you? How the hell are we supposed to take everything off the guy, though? Make him strip. What? <laughs> Excuse me. It's a good solution. Oleander can't hide anything if he's forced to leave everything behind. How the flying fuck are we supposed to do that without getting arrested for sexual assault? I don't know. You better come up with something, though. It's for the sake of everyone's safety. You just want to humiliate him in front of all the other parents. <laughs> you can't prove anything. Well, good luck, kids. Sounds like you're all in for a rough night. Wait, don't you hang up, you shit! Just, you can't just leave us with some vague instructions! The phone beeped! Or <laughs> lapsing into an insulting dial tone. Dot, I hate this guy sometimes. Why does John get the easy job? You just have to hang out with Owen and make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. It's a very difficult job, let me tell you. Only a talented bodyguard would fit the bill. Philip and Jenny both looked like they were both considering strangling me. Guess this is my cue to leave. With with sigh, <laughs> I stood up from my seat while ignoring the two's withering gaze. The motherfucker said wealth again. I even fucking he told me on Twitter he would not stop saying wealth. He also told me that he has a whole Google Doc. Dedicated to the feedback I have given him, both in public and private. There's no way in fuck that if he's typing down all my notes that he doesn't take a notice, but he's, he's doing it to piss me off now. <laughs> hey, if you want to flatter me, have him make me a cameo. I'd be glad to be a part of this shit. Oh, God. Wouldn't that be some crazy shit, though? Like, in all seriousness, like, joking aside... If, if in one of these games that's in development, they added, like, a character that looked like Jack, my fursona's name is Jack, uh, in the, in just, like, in the background or some shit, that'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> it's never gonna happen, but that'd be so fucking funny. Looks like it's time for me to return to my bodyguard and duty. I gotta head to the old dusty trail. Best of luck to you, friends. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Jenny's my favorite! Welp isn't a word! <laughs> I say what I want. Welp! <laughs> You're fucking trolling me, Shiro! Shiro Koi, Shiro Kai, 
Jake the Cosmic Fuck says Shiro Kai. This is Shiro Koi, Shiro Koi, Shiro Ki. What are you? Toodles? I actually do that. I toodle people. Or I diddle them sometimes. When, like, instead of flipping people off on the road, I'll diddle them or toodle them. Because uh, it's more patronizing and less and uh, less immediate fuck you. Good luck on stripping all the Andalola! <laughs> Philip and Jenny simultaneously flip me the bird. I was literally just talking about flipping the bird! Oh my god! This is like reading my fucking mind! Also, I will comment. Jenny's face is fucking hilarious. But, uh... As I left the kitchen. <laughs> Fuck you, guy! <laughs> You're fucking trolling me, you motherfucker. Ah, uh, I love it. I poked my head into the school gym and reveled in the wave of AC that hit my face. Alexander Crambell just. <laughs> uh... Owen Mo mentioned that he was going to hit the gym earlier, right? It shouldn't be too hard to find him. It's pretty empty in here, and after all, I jumped at the sound of slamming fists echoing through the building. Curious, I made my way to the corner to find Owen beating the living daylight out of a poor punching bag. The bag creaked and protested that swung from its chains in the, chains in the ceiling. Owen let a frustrated yell and smashed fist after fist into the punching bag. I winced at the painful sight of impact. That can't feel too good for your fists. Owen looked up from his massacre in surprise. Huh? Someone noticed me destroying the building single-handedly? How anime can this get? <laughs> Sweat dripped down from his brow. <laughs> as, he, as he turned towards me with a grin. There he is. Oh, John, didn't see you there. I'm surprised you heard me with all the noise you were making. Do you do this often? No wonder you're in, in you're so in shape. You think these muscles came from a healthy lifestyle? Nah, man, I worked myself to death to keep my mind off a looming pit of anxiety in my life. Wow! How fucking accurate do you have to be? <laughs> this is a nice way to lift off some steam. Hope I didn't scare you at all. I wasn't expecting you to follow me. A good bodyguard is always there when you need him. <laughs> You've been doing a good job with that whole bodyguard thing. That reminds me. I never got around to thanking you. Thanking me? For what? Well, for... There's the fucking... Clementia! I knew it was there! I knew it was happening! Gonna talk over it because YouTube's run by copyright puritans! For everything. You listened to me mope about my life issues without any judgment. And then you took... To, then you took... Then you took to time to encourage me every time I got anxious. It felt really nice to just have someone to talk to. After all that, you somehow managed to ar arrange a reunion between Samuel and me. It means a lot to have someone close who cares so much. So, uh, thanks for taking care of me. You make a good bodyguard. Owen gave me a grateful smile and ruffled my hair. My chest suddenly felt very warm. Reminds me, I want Fireball. God, I miss that shit. Well, somebody had to. He'd be a mess without me. Oh, uh, speaking of which... Oh, and there is one more thing. We haven't discussed the subject of payment. <laughs> speaking of which, I have something for you. I dug my hands into my pockets before pulling out a small leather journal. This is your mother's journal. I think you should have it. Uh... Don't get mad, but I kind of snooped around her house to get this. Owen looked touched as though the journal... Uh, I, Owen looked touched as he took the journal from my hands and examined it carefully. You stole my mother's journal? How'd you even open the lock on this? I'm a very good lock picker. For a moment I heard Echo cough sarcastically in the back of my head. Ahem! <laughs> Ahem. Anyway, I figured you deserved to know the whole truth about your family. This should be a good first step. I'll try to help you the best I can. I'm a nosy photographer, after all, and it's what I do best. Owen brushed a hand slowly over the journal's worn cover. A bittersweet smile formed on his face. Mom would get pissed if she knew I was digging through her stuff. But it'll... But it's about time I hit my rebellious stage. Didn't you do that already when you ran away from home? Really, dude? W whoops, too soon? Well, I guess I kind of deserve it after ditching you with Samuel yesterday. 
Sorry about that. I'm a bit of a chicken shit sometimes. Ah, oh, we fucking heard that before. <laughs> Damn right. Samuel's a scary dude. That's That was not a warm first impression. You owe me big time after all I did for you. Well... Owen glanced around the near-empty gym for a moment before returning with, to me with a sly grin. Oh, God. Ah, oh, Jesus, you need to back up immediately. Le oh, he leaned in suspiciously close and whispered in my ear. Hey, little mama. <laughs> I could give you some service as an op ap apology if you want. What are you implying with your pixelated face? I suddenly felt very hot under my jacket. Dude, really? Right here? Owen threw an arm over my shoulder and winked. There's a break room out back that no one uses. We'll have plenty of privacy. Come for fuck's sake. Plus, it'll help me blow off all the stress from this morning. It's a win-win. Come on, you can't say no to a free blowjob! <laughs> well, this certainly took a turn. I assure you, what was this? What, what the fuck was that? For the, if you couldn't see it because of the crop, I did this. <laughs> a turn. I assure you I have excellent technique. Or, you know, I could apologize the old-fashioned way and then they treat you to dinner or something. But come on, this is way more fun. What do you say? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I need a title. And Owen takes me to dinner versus Owen blows me. Which one is more fucking eye-catching? I mean, in this canon, he's or I've already blown him. Let me pause on that for a second. <laughs> and and we we snooped on him. Fucking ah, uh, God. Well, I do deserve a good reward after all my work. Oh my God. I sat by the window of the gym and stared outside into the courtyard absentmindedly. Owen sure is taking forever to shower. Being in a gym makes the waiting worse. I feel like a fish out of water here. A fish that's aggressively allergic to physical exercise. Hmm? Two familiar figures outside suddenly caught my eye. Oh, Ginny and Philip were scuttling across the courtyard in possibly the most suspicious way possible. They were tailing a rather oblivious and absent-minded parent wandering aimlessly through the courtyard. Upon closer inspection, Philip and Jenny looked equally clueless as to as they hid behind a shrub and spied on the parent not so subtly. Curiosity and boredom got the better of me. I reached for my phone and quietly dialed their number. Why would you do that? <laughs> oh God, who is it now? Calm down, it's just John. Hey, old Ghostbuster, are you finally g considering giving us a hand? No, I saw you guys floundering around from my window and wanted to see how you were doing. If you're so close, then why don't you come out and help us? I've got my duties as a loyal bodyguard. I can't just abandon Owen in his time of need. Anywho, who's the search for Owen? How's the search for Owen's dad going? Well, do you want the good news or the bad news? We have good news. <laughs> just try to stay positive, fellas. The good news is that we found Oleander Lorelei. He's standing right over there in the courtyard. And the bad news is that I have no earthly idea how we're going to pull this off. <laughs> I get it, pull this off, as in we're supposed to make... Punning is my job. In all seriousness, how in the hell does Morse expect us to take everything off his person? We could try knocking him out and stuffing him in a broom closet somewhere. This man is the leader of a mafia family who practically owns half the city. If we're gonna die if he catches us. We'll just do it from behind, so he doesn't see us. One brick to the head, and we're good to go. We're here to steal all his shit, not murder him. Look at this old fart. He's he's like a withering, a withered stick. Does it look like he'd survive a blow to the head? He dresses like an old fart, too. How many layers is he wearing under that suit? He's talking on a flip phone, too. Are we sure this is even the right guy? Owen's dad is supposed to be in his late 40s or something, right? This guy looks ancient, and kind of underwhelming, to be honest. You guys are being awful to this poor man. No, it's not his fault he's old. Old? Wait, I got an idea! I don't really trust your ideas, Jenny. It'll be perfect! Just follow my lead. <laughs> oh, God. To be continued! Oh, man! Oh, man! Okay, so back. Save. 
Thank you all very much for watching these episodes of Repeat. It's been an interesting one. Um, so kind of a short update, but you know what? That's fine. They were packed full of content and interesting and interesting things. Let's put it that way. Interesting is a word that will be used to describe this. So I guess we'll see you on the next update. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I have been the trained on professional speaking for the voices in my head when I say until next time. Whenever the fuck that will be, fare thee well. Bye, everyone! Two episodes? Really? Just two? Goddamn.